Welcome to Dreger's Clubhouse in Burlington, Washington. We have an array of cars and all sorts of things to see hanging on the walls and hanging from the ceiling. And we've got a lot of it on display for your pleasure. All motorcycles on this level. Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Burlington, Washington. We have before you here a 1964 Dodge. It's set up like a race car, as a race car. It has a roll cage in it. And we'll show you that when we take a look at the interior and the trunk. It's got a 383 big block in it. It runs quite well. It's it's very, very neat deal. Uh, the way it's done and finished it as you can see it's really clean look how look how pretty this car is I mean everything is just really really nice on it it all looks good I mean I don't I don't think I've seen any issues in the paint at all the paint's beautiful on it chrome's very nice they did the finish work on here nice got the wheels on there five spoke wheels on that all look good it's got the side trim on here just fine you can see the, the whole thing is painted this orange. And of course, you can see we've got the interior in here. So you can see how that is. Got a tack on the dash. See, you can see the roll bar up above on the ceiling there. See how nice that door shuts? The other side's the same way too. Also I wanted to show you the VIN tag is right there on the door jam, right where it's supposed to be. So you can see that. That's how it closes. And how about those wheels? Look how deep that wheel is. It goes way back in there. So anyway, you know it's tubbed because it's got these big wheels on it. Then the back end, of course, it's the same way. This paint is really nice. I, it just, everything looks good. Look how nice the chrome is on there, the tail lights and everything. And so we open up the trunk, and there's your battery, and here's your fuel cell. So you can't go too far with this thing until you're going to run out of gas, I suppose. I don't know how big that is. It hardly looks like it's 10 gallons. I doubt it's 10 gallons. But you can see the roll bar comes all the way back to here. It goes back up inside. You can see the how much it's been tubbed right there and everything. And again, you can look at the bottom of this uh, trunk lid. See how nice that is? It all looks good. All the, all the thing looks good underneath here. It's a fun car. And again, the trunk closes good. And again, you can see how nice this is. Oh, and there is, I, I forgot, I, there is a chip right there in the paint. I, it's, it's the only one I know of. There might be something else, but I sure haven't seen it. Again, you can see those big, deep wheels. And this side, so to shift it, you, it's set up you have to pull the tra the thing all the way back and uh, shift it through the gears the way it's supposed to operate. So even though it's an automatic, you have to treat it that way. And did I tell you, it has, you can see the window, it looks good, it rolls up good and everything. I mean, it's a n nice car. It's Came out of California, came up here the 
northwest. You can see we've got the wheels on there. You can see the disc brakes on there. Oops, sorry. I walked right through the camera. So there's the 383, and look at this feature right here. It's got air conditioning on a drag car. You got air on a drag car. How's that? Anyway, you can see it's all clean. Look how clean that firewall is across there. You can see it's got the uh, power brakes on there and everything. It has power steering pump is down in there. So it's got power steering on it. You see all that, and you see the headers, and just you can see the whole thing. The underside of the hood here is really good. Anyway, I'm gonna. You can see it's uh, it's cold. There's the exhaust manifold. It's not perfectly cold, but it's cold. It's hasn't uh, been uh, ran in a little bit. So anyway, I'm gonna go in here. And Start this up. Oop. You can hear the fuel pump going. Oh. <laughs> That's as quiet. this button there now the air is on there you can see this front seat there it's got an armrest that folds down and out of the way so you, that all looks good I mean you can just see how nice this interior is it's really nice it, this is a pretty damn neat car you got to look at all of it to see it. The radio works, I'm not sure quite how uh, it works. I, I have a hard time with radios. And of course you can see we got the air duct right there for the cold air. There's more right there, uh, air, air ducting, and of course there's the controls for the air. I just wanted to show you the temp gauge here. You can see the you can see it's going down. There's 39 degrees. that and the radio and we got a tack up here and you can see the dash is it's really good too it all looks good this is a, this is a nice car the speedometer does not work we took it when we took it down the freeway we were able to watch that so hard to say why the speedometer doesn't work I do not know I don't have an answer for you but you can just see this whole thing looks good I wanted to show you uh, the headliner here, but I really wanted to show you the roll bar, which you can see right there. The roll bar only comes up to there, but you can see where it goes back through the uh, package tray back there, down into the trunk, and of course you can see the rest of it in the trunk. There is no back seat in here, so I wanted to show you that too, so you can see that. 
You can see we get speakers in there. And again, there's the roll bar right there going all the way across and everything. I just wanted to show you how, how this thing looks. The speedometer shows 45,958 miles on it. I don't know what that means. We'll, we're selling an unknown without any record of it. We don't know. See the radio works, it's seeking right now is what it's doing, but you can see it works. This is the left door panel right here and you can see it's all real nice shape. And you can see the door here, it all, look how nice and clean that is. I mean, it's a clean car. And of course you can see on this side too. And again, we have the armrest in there. Pulls down, got the four spoke wheel there. Just wanted to show you this door jam here with a VIN number right there. There's brand new bolts in there. I mean, this, this car has been not very many miles on it since it was finished, as near as I can tell. And again, you can see how nice the dash is, the tack setting up there. And of course the headliner all looks good. Now you can see if we run a little bit, it starts and runs easier and everything. So there's the lights, high beam, Low beam, turn signal, turn signal, horn, and there wiper blades. There are no wiper arms on here. walk under this 64 Dodge 330. It's set up to go to the racetrack. You can see it's got a, there's the bottom of a fuel cell. It's uh, got an electric fuel pump right there. It's got big street tires on it with tread. So it's not, not got slicks, but uh, they're big wide tires. I don't know, they look like they're about 14 inches wide. Anyway, the uh, quarter panels on this car are in great shape. We've got uh, all drain vents there and this side looks like it's got some work done on it. They filled one of the drain vents in it, so it looks like it's been puttied a little bit, but it's all solid. Um, I'm not held a magnet up to it, but you can tell they've kind of worked on that corner a little bit. But the inner inner part is all solid. The sheet metal is all good. Frame solid. Uh, also, the battery is mounted in the trunk. I guess that's one of those things you got to do for racing too. I'm not, I'm not up on all these things you got to do or the rules, but anyway, it's got coilover springs, a narrowed uh, rear end. I was told this differential is the the good heavy duty one you want. I don't, I don't know Mopars at all, but uh, I was told by a friend that that's the that's the rear end you want. It's the same one he built putting his hot rod. Anyway, it's got four link. Uh, suspension in the back here too um got a big collar around the drive line for safety for running down the track 
there's the exhaust. There's not much of an exhaust system on it. It's pretty noisy. It's, I don't know if these are baffles or, or if they're like a uh, cherry bomb or what they are, but they're glass pack. It sounds good. And it's if you don't step on it, it's it, not too obnoxiously loud, but it gets loud once you step on it. You can see that the metal's all good here. Rocker panels look good and solid. I don't see anything in the way of rust in this floor pan anywhere. This driver's side rocker looks just as good. It's just a little dirty. That. No corrosion or bubbling anywhere. Well, I take that back. Then I get to this. I see these little spots and I don't know what they are. It looks like somebody maybe drilled a hole right there. Because it's, it's all solid. So I don't know what happened there. It looks like somebody was maybe drilling holes. Maybe it's... That's what it is. It's old exhaust hangers, I bet, is what that was, because I see that there now. That's exactly what that is. I don't think that's any corrosion at all. It's just where the old exhaust system was hung. No, but everything is very nice under here. Got headers. Bottom of the automatic transmission. Disc brakes in the front. Oil pads nicely painted. These front tires look pretty new. They got nubbins on them still on the outside edge. Lots of tread. Anyway, there's the calipers on the front end. It's got a neat uh, all serpentine setup with all the pulleys and everything going through it's aluminum I think is what it is oh see that in the other part of the video but, and there you go there's a 64 Dodge
put fuel in this. We're putting the 92 octane in there. It's all ethanol free. See here, it's putting the gas in right there. Do it. You got maybe you got to turn far enough. There you go. It was sticky. <laughs> Keep it from bouncing around. Yep. This is $6 a gallon gas. <laughs> by any manner or means. You have any questions at all about this neat car, give us a call. 206-533-9600. We'd be more than happy to answer them for you. <laughs>